Hey guys, welcome to my video guide on the Desert Rush minigame in FF7 Rebirth Challenging Difficulty. You unlock this difficulty when you hit chapter 12 in the main story. Quick note about the setup before starting the stage. First off, the accessory that Cloud equips actually does matter. For example, you can give Cloud the Hermes shoes from the Chocobo Racers that allows him to start this minigame with a haste buff up. However, the haste buff isn't permanent and will wear off in the middle of this stage. In the Chocobo races, you can also win the Choco King Mantle and that allows Cloud to start off with one full ATB bar. You can also give Cloud the Speed Demon Keychain. This allows Cloud to refund a little bit of ATB every time he uses the Braver attack. Cloud's speed stat also matters, this allows you to more easily get full ATB bars, so you can also give Cloud such as the speed up material, or you can give him something like the first strike material to give to allow him to start with more ATB at the start. I actually did not give the first strike material, I forgot about it, and I also forgot to give Cloud the speed up material, so if you do so, it should allow you a little bit more leeway, and that should help a lot. Next up, all the boxes combined on this stage totals to roughly about 60,000 in score, but you really only need 55,000 to get all the rewards. This means that you don't actually have to hit all the boxes. The key boxes of course is the 1,500 boxes, you should try to get as many of them as possible. It's okay to miss maybe one of them, but obviously the more of the high score boxes you miss, the tighter it is to meet the score requirement for the highest rewards. So let's get started on the stage. At the start of the stage, you want to turn around with Cloud because it's a hidden time box right here. Then move to the right and make your way to the right of the stage. Skip these boxes because you can't hit this. Go up this platform and this is your first spark box. Use one Braver to hit the spark box and on that note, you do want to take one or two seconds to try to position Cloud nicely when you do favor, especially if you're hitting two or more big boxes in one favor. Once you're done, move back down the platform, turn right, and hit this one box here. Then make a sharp right, there's three time boxes here. I pause the video here because I want to show you the positioning to hit the 3500 boxes here with one braver. If you position Cloud sort of to the corner of this big box here, you can actually hit all three boxes with a Braver attack. However, if you can't, these three boxes is actually the hardest 3,500 point boxes to hit on this mini game. So if you only manage to nail two of the three boxes on this area, it's actually okay. Just leave the third box alone and move on with the stage. So long. From here, move up the platform on the right, then have Cloud make a sharp right turn, hit this stack of 50 point box and make your way to the big 1500 point box. There's a spark box behind this big box. From here, turn right and head down the ramp. Just follow along the corridor but take note of the exposed wiring, you don't want to get shocked. Position Cloud here so that you can take out all 3 boxes with your braver and there are 3 hidden time boxes behind this. Normal attack this 500 point box and then you can use the built up ATB to braver down this big 1500 point box. You are now back at the start of this big platform. Take out the remainder of the 50 point boxes here. I purposely left the 50 point boxes to here so that you can use them to charge up Cloud's ATB because at the very next level after the red leaf, you need to use two bravers in succession to quickly clear your path forward. You should immediately aim to head up this platform on the right of the red leaf the moment you hit this level because this is where the next spark box is. Make a U-turn and you notice a 1500 point box here so you should braver this big box down. Then head back down the ramp. Quick pause here as I mentioned about this platform. Now coming back to this platform, there's a ton of 500 point lightning boxes. This section is a huge time sink and I would recommend not trying to destroy every single 500 point box here. These three boxes should be the first 
priority because there's hidden time boxes behind this. So go ahead and use a braver here. Then turn right with Cloud because there's a small time box with one lightning box here. I use manual attacks here to charge up Cloud's ATB. Then head towards these 5 boxes. Try to take out as many as possible with one braver. However, if there's any remaining, just forget about them and head up the lift. It's fine to leave behind 2 to 3 500 point lightning boxes there. I left behind 2. Again coming up, move directly to Cloud's right, use a Braver here. There's a lot of 50 point boxes in this alcove and if you don't have an ATB bar to use the Braver there, take out the 50 point boxes first. Pick out this spark box and then head on to Cloud's right again. Take out this pack of 50 point box which will give you enough ATB to Braver down the big 1500 point box. Repeat again so you get enough ATB to take out these two lightning boxes. There's three time boxes hidden behind so take this out and then you're done on this level, head up to the next speed lift. The first thing you'll notice coming up is the big 1500 point box so use a braver to take it out. Unfortunately I messed up and I wasted a good 5-6 seconds here because I ran out of ATB when I missed the Braver. So you can see there is quite a lot of leeway for mistakes. Don't worry if you make a mistake here and there. There is time to spare and there is buffer in score. Normal attack down this lightning box so that you get enough ATB for this 1500 point box. Turn left. There's two sets of two 500 point box. You want to use Braver on one set and then normal attack another. As you're destroying these 4 boxes here, you want to make sure that you get at least 1 ATB bar as you head down to the next level of the red lift. Because coming up immediately, there's a 1500 point box and you want the ATB bar to take it down. Move forward and then you come to a blue lift, so take it down. Now as you come down, you notice there's a ramp going down. Skip that ramp, do not go down this, this ramp. Now I made a mistake here, I turned right, you should actually turn left with Cloud instead. So I had to waste another 5 seconds to make a U-turn because there's a spark box right here. Take down this spark box first and then only head to the 1500 point box. Again be careful of the exposed wires. Braver down this box, hit the time box and take this blue lift down. Take note that there's a big blue time box on the way down so you want to position Cloud on the right hand side of this lift. Go to the next blue leaf, there's also a blue time box here and take it back down again. The two blue leaves here take you straight to the start of the mini game. You're back right at the start. If you have close to two ATB bars, use one braver to take out these four lightning boxes. If you have less than one ATB bar, instead use normal attacks because you want to use braver here. I made another mistake here and I had to skip the box. You obviously want to use one braver to pick out two boxes. So that is the third time I have to skip because of a mistake in positioning. Head towards the red lift to the back. This is the final lift in the mini game. Position cloud right in the middle and braver down the three boxes. And then take out the stack of 50 point boxes and you are done. I have a whole 11 seconds left after this and this is with mistakes made during the run. I'm fairly sure you can actually complete the run with say 15 to 20 seconds to spare. And I'm now at 59,000 score even though I made mistakes and I skipped quite a couple of boxes. You only need 55,000 for all the rewards so you can actually skip even more boxes. Once you are done, you can't actually go back so I just let club then here until the end of the minigame. Hope this video helps and thanks for watching.